Good morning. Yesterday, I was driving and I saw a lawnmower out by the ditch someone was throwing out. So, I had to bring it home and fix it <laughs> because that's what I enjoy doing. And um, so, it prompted me to do a series of videos on the small engine mechanics or uh, how a small engine works and all the different components that make up a small engine like a lawnmower. So today I'll just do a um, an overview of everything and then as the uh, videos progress we'll go into more detail about all the different operating systems of a small engine you know the um the fuel and the air um air ratio you know you need um spark and so we'll go through the ignition system and um and we'll go through the different um phases of which the strokes of the engine and um things like that so let me just start by introducing you to this lawnmower. I haven't really had a chance to look at it myself because I've been painting, <laughs> but uh, today we'll put it up on this table and have a good look at it and see what's going on. Yeah, I think I'll be able to lift this thing, but let me put some gloves on just so that I uh, won't hurt my hands on this metal. show you about this lawnmower and I'll be able to look at it too this is the first look at it I'm having I just brought it in so the first thing I noticed when I was picking it up is that it's very rusty underneath as you can see it turns so that's good but barely we're gonna have to do a lot of work if we want to get this thing running again but it's gonna be fun to try um, this lawnmower is a, a four-stroke or four cycle engine and so it has separate oil and fuel so when we go into more detail in these uh, next videos, I'll explain to you more of what everything uh, does and we'll do a complete tear down and rebuild of this lawnmower. I'm not guaranteeing you it's gonna run after we get done, but I'll do my best. So we have the primer bulb and we'll have to check that, make sure there's no cracks in it right now it's uh let me see i think i did look it has a tiny bit of gas in there but i don't think it's enough to um to be able to see if the primer bulb has any cracks in it or anything but then we have the spark plug and we'll go through the uh, ignition system we'll check We'll check if there's spark. I have a little uh, tool that we can put in there. It's a little light that when you pull the cord, it will cause a spark. And if it is sparking, it will show up in my little light diagnostic tool. We'll also check the compression on it uh, to see if it's getting the right compression. If it's not, there could be a leak somewhere keeping it maybe the valves are not seating i'll uh, show you how to 
uh, grind the valves down to, uh, to make the seats or grind the valve seats to uh, make it seat all the way in so it'll get the right compression in the engine if that's what the problem is. Actually, let me just take this um, cover off the top so we could get a little more detailed view of what's inside for you. It screws here on the top holding this cover down. From here we can get a more detailed view of the engine and its components. This is uh, just the pull starter, like we changed on the uh, generator a few videos back. And right down in here is the carburetor. So let me just remove this um, cover here. This is where the air filter is. This will be, so, so to start with today, I'll just show you a little bit about how the uh, engine works and its four strokes. So this is the this is the air intake. This is where the air filter. See that's so dirty. We'll need to replace that. But in here is where the carburetor begins. It's the intake port, and it's right behind here. This is just a little uh, thing keeping the air filter from being sucked up into the in intake. So the intake goes to the carburetor, which is right behind here, which is right here. First of all, first of all, okay, so, so let's start from the beginning here. And this is the primer bulb. Uh, you pump that a few times and it brings uh, some fuel into the carburetor bowl. When you, when the, when you crank the engine, air is drawn in from here and it goes through the carburetor. It pulls some fuel from the float bowl. It's called the Venturi effect. I'll go into more detail about what that is later. And it goes in and this uh, air fuel mixture is drawn into the, uh, the cylinder housing. And uh, it's as it's the intake stroke is being the, the what's causing it to be pulled into the uh, cylinder is the piston moving backwards. When the piston moves uh, backwards in the cylinder head, it opens it up. That's the first stroke of the four stroke process. It, it takes two cycles of the crankshaft to uh, complete a four stroke process. So, so there's the intake and then there's the compression, and then there's the power stroke, and there's the exhaust stroke. And then the intake, it pulls, the, it creates a vacuum, which pulls the air and the fuel into the cylinder. Then the valves are tightly closed, the, the piston goes forward, and it compresses, compresses the uh, air and the fuel mixture. And as that's compressed, it causes the um, the molecules to to react. They get uh, really full of energy because they're so compressed that they are so close to their flash point that once the spark and this happens usually about uh, ten degrees of top dead center uh, to give the gases a chance to fully. Um, compress and then this they're about to explode they're right at their flash point and then the spark occurs and this explosion is instantaneous and it drives that that uh, piston back and creating the power stroke and that's what turns the engine and turns the blade of the lawnmower 
and then the next is the exhaust stroke which pushes the exhaust the burnt gases out of the cylinder to prepare for the next intake stroke. Sorry, I hope it didn't sound like I was yelling at you. It's just to think and to put those words that I'm thinking out into the world is sometimes a little difficult for me. But we got the basic explanation of how the this lawnmower engine works and we'll go into more detail as the videos progress so that's gonna be all for today that's your introduction to uh, this this lawnmower and um pretty much all uh, the way that the, the motors work is, is pretty much the same on all the brands. This right here is a Briggs & Stratton engine. Uh, that's a very common uh, motor. And so if you learn how to fix this, then, then you should uh, be able to fix any different types of, of these small engines there. They all have cylinders and pistons and, and crankshafts and, and wrist pins and all of that. So. So tomorrow we will go into um, more detail about how the uh, ignition system works with the magneto and the uh, coil and the spark plug. And so I'll explain how, how that all creates a spark to uh, ignite the air fuel mixture uh, to uh, cause that power stroke. All right, so that's it for today's episode of, I don't know what I'll call it, uh, fixing the lawnmower, I guess. <laughs> so this is part one. We'll see how many parts there, are, there end up being. Uh, I'm excited about this journey we are uh, embarking on, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>